So I thought Vlogmas was going to be pleasant. Let me tell you about my day today. I'm Michelle Patterson. This is Angel Souls. If you could subscribe, that might make my day better. Okay? Thanks. So I've been trying to put up my Christmas tree for forever. And I keep, the day just gets away from me and I just can't, I can't get to it. I'll explain this in a second. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight. That might have to be a whole separate video because otherwise it'll be too long. But I have had the weirdest day. The weirdest day. First of all, this hair. I'm not kidding you guys. You always hear me talk about and go on and on about my hair. And you're like, who cares? Blah, blah, blah. I care because it's on my head. Thank you. So you can see how it's trying to get all wild. You see that? I even have it back in a ponytail and it's still, it's still trying to creep out. You see that? It was worse before it was out here and I don't know why. I used a good shampoo. I used a good hair dryer. I got all the bougie products to make it what it's supposed to be and look. And then I'm sitting on my couch I'm trying to edit videos and my computer is not cooperating. It's wanting to just be super slow and super stupid. And I was like, that's fine. I've got an iPhone with iMovie. So let me just get some, you know, little clips in there and we'll do that. Could not figure out how to get the clips out of Epidemic Sound into my Dropbox and then get it into the iMovie so I can export it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're not a YouTuber, okay? I get that and that's fine. You can just ignore that part. Then I hear, okay, and something knocking around in my refrigerator. I go and I open it up. There's a glass jar that got knocked down, okay? And there was a, a glass bottle of water in my refrigerator. Not my freezer, my refrigerator. And it froze and exploded and ruined a bunch of food because there's glass all over. So I have to clean glass out of my refrigerator and now go and get <laughs> more ingredients because all the ingredients or a few of the ingredients that I was gonna use for making Christmas cookies was in that mess. So now I have to go and take care of that. Then I go and I open my door and there is a package from Macy's at my doorstep. Now, this is why that's problematic. <sighs> Around my neighborhood, the theft of packages, especially around the holidays, is so bad that they had to put a lock, a, a door on the mail. We had a little mail building that was just kind of open. They had to install a door and a key code thing because people kept breaking in and stealing stuff, okay? So we have lockers here now where the packages can be locked away. So why this was on my doorstep, I have no idea. But anyway, I'm like, all right, it's one of my Macy's packages. That, that'll make me feel better, <laughs> all right? Now, every year, I get to about Christmas time, and I get a little caught up in the whole Thanksgiving Day Parade, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and I forget how awful they are. I forget how when you order something from them, they send out one little piece at a time. It's ridiculous, okay? I forget, and I forgot this year. So I ordered some stuff with me? You with me? You with me? You with me? <sighs> yes. It's a cute shoe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I put this on my foot and I'm like, this feels like heaven. It is a perfect fit. It looks gorgeous. It's going to be like the perfect little Christmas heel, you know, because wherever I'm going, we're going to be for Christmas. There's going to be like some weather. So I can kind of manage a little bit in this heel as opposed to a bigger heel, you know, all that good stuff. It's got a little bit of a grip on the, on the bottom. And I'm like, my day's turning around. This is so fantastic. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see what's wrong? There are two left shoes! Two left! Two left! I don't have two left! I need a fucking... Macy's? Come here, Macy's. Come here. You come here. You come, you come right here. Listen to me. Every year, Macy's, every year, you do something really stupid. This is stupid. This is this is not for my life. This is 
not for anybody's life, okay? And you know what? Now, I have to drive to Macy's, which is not near me, okay? It's not near me, all right? If you think I'm gonna drive to that section of town and not hit up the Good Del Taco that's near there, <laughs> Because I don't have one of those near me either. I am going to eat my feelings that day at the Good Del Taco. Okay, they've got those french fries and I don't understand why they're so good. I, I don't understand. And I had better meet a hottie along the way too. Just to make everything even and better. Okay? But now I have to go to the Macy's here in Colorado Springs. And I got to be honest with you guys. Every time I go in there, it's depressing. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like the structure of the building. Um, I've met one person who works there who was lovely. She was just so lovely. Really good personality, the whole bit. A lot of other people have had the personality of a wet mop. All right? And I'm talking like when I order stuff and I go pick it up and they just stare at me. I'm like, oh, how's your day? And they're just like... Do you really think that they're gonna have these shoes? A right and a left, right? A right and a left in a six and a half for me. Do you think they're gonna have these in stock? If they do, it would be a miracle. But the whole point is that I can't get ahead. <laughs> I can't get ahead. I can't. I have to now put this on my list of to-dos, all right? But the other thing is, is because they send one stinking the stupid little thing at a time, I have to wait for the rest of the order to come in to see if they messed that up too. Or if I'm too fat for the jumper outfit that I got. That could happen. Uh, <laughs> it only went up so high, the sizes. But yeah, I'm going to have to wait until the rest of that crap comes in. And no, if you're like, well, Michelle, just stick it back in the box and ship it back and tell them. Listen, I have had problems where Macy's has done something equally stupid. All these shoes. How dare you, Macy's? How dare you? Oh, uh, Michelle, oh my God, it was huge. You best not. Okay, today's not the day when I'm ranting. <laughs> don't. Don't cross me. But they've done this in the past where they have made some majorly, oh God, this hair, a uh, majorly stupid mistake. And I call and they put me on hold. I've gotten disconnected from customer service because they just put me on hold for so long they forgot about me. Okay? And then they treated me like a common criminal, like I was trying to get one over on Macy's because I said I never got a package. I mean, they, they put me through it. And I finally had to be like, listen, lady, you know, I just ordered X amount of dollars of makeup, which <sighs> makeup's a thing that I like makeup, but I really need it for the video and stuff. <sighs> I just spent all this money on makeup and I didn't get it. And you're showing me that, you know, you need to fix this. I mean, I really had to get on them to, to fix it. So just ridiculous. And now, <sighs> I know I'm gonna have to deal with someone with an attitude at that store. And you know what, I, this is I can tell you exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna open it up and they're gonna go, they look okay to me. They look okay to me. They, they look correct, what? What, there's two red shoes, what's the problem? Aren't, aren't they the same size? They're the same size, they're both a six and a half, are they? They're both a six and a half, what's the problem? Like, come on, this hurts. Two lefts. Problem is my feet aren't built like this. No one's feet are built like that. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it was for some of you who might be like, just stick them back in the box and mail them back. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to mail it back. And then they put, because they messed up, now I have to watch my credit card to make sure that they credited my credit card. Do you feel me? This is the day I've had. What else has happened? <laughs> I'm scared to move. I'm scared to do anything. I keep trying to clean and yet everything's still dirty. Okay, astrologers out there, is something happening? Tell me, tell me truly. <laughs> because listen, the other, well, okay, the other thing that I realized that I've been kind of, I said I was gonna put up the tree. I'm looking at it right now. I brought in my ornaments, they're sitting over here. I'm gonna set up different cameras and stuff so we can do this together. I'll have a better attitude about it, I promise. <laughs> Every year, I individually wrap all of my ornaments and then I whip them out and I'm like, oh, that's right. I individually wrapped all of my ornaments. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I think that's it. I will stop this rant. Get on with my life. I'm so mad. I've got too many things on my plate. 
as everyone does around this time of year. And to have to now put, I literally have my little, I like writing things out, that's how I schedule things. Because if it's on my phone, it just kind of gets mixed in with all the other alerts that are popping up and I, I don't pay attention. But the act of writing it helps commit it to memory for me. So I'm gonna have to add that in my list of to-dos. <sighs> Maybe I can do Macy's and Del Taco. I'm doing Del Taco and it better be a hottie there, universe. Because I am tired. I'm tired, okay? A hottie. <laughs> Bring your hottie to the Del Taco. Maybe we'll be in line together or something. I don't know. Maybe not at the Del Taco. Something a little better. Anyway, uh, <laughs> more romantic is what I mean. But I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's just another thing that I'm going to have to remember to do. But yeah, maybe I can do that and hit up the grocery store, get my stuff. I need to get my... <laughs> I don't, you know what, I am so one of those people who, you know, I'm, I'm very on top of things, you know, uh, with personal readings, for example, if, you know, I have a wait time with those, but I always do my best to make sure that that's done ahead of time so that you're getting it sooner than the actual wait time, but it's not always possible. It just depends on how many people are coming in. But it's like, I sit down to do readings and there's like all these technical difficulties or, there's some crazy windstorm that, like, seriously, I can't be sitting next to the window. It's not safe. Like, you know, and there's all this noise going on, all these distractions, or people are, you know, moving furniture around outside. It's just like, what is happening? Coming for you, Del Taco. And Macy's, knock it off, okay? Okay, I know you're cute. Everyone associates you with Miracle on 34th Street. Everyone knows you do your cute little Thanksgiving Day Parade. But don't you be sending me! You don't toy with me like this. Look how cute these are. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye.